I am Mark Waller and I push coloured goo around with a hairy stick. That's what I do. I paint and I make stuff. That's me. What does creative mean, being creative mean to me? I, I don't think of myself as being creative. I get coloured goo and I push it around with a hairy stick and I play. And I guess that's being creative. I don't really think about it as being creative or not being creative. I just think about making marks and I guess having a voice. That's it. Simple as that. I have some creative patterns and routines. Um, for me, coming in and working on a painting first thing in the morning is quite difficult. So, or a painting that requires my brain to be in a certain place. So I will rough in a painting and you know, do a lot of big broad brush strokes and that's kind of like my warming up. And that's kind of my routine. Once I get that out of the way, I can then start moving into the more intricate parts of the painting. Um, surfing is part of my routine. <laughs> Again, I, I can't speak for everyone in here in the LAC, but my opinion on bureaucracy versus creativity is that bureaucracy stifles creativity. Bureaucracy is about order and conformity and creativity is not that. It goes where it wants to go. I think most of the other people in here would agree with that. I, I can't really say what the f my favourite thing I've ever created is because it's probably the next thing. <laughs> That's one of the, the, the traps about making art is, is that the next thing is somehow going to be the thing that does everything that you want it to do or says everything that you want it to say. Because the other one didn't quite get there. That's how it is for me anyway. I couldn't say. I do have lots of favourites, or lots of things that I have an affection for, but I have no favourites. Bureaucracy versus creativity. Creativity will always win. Always win. Bureaucracy is order. There is eventually no order in the universe. There are rules but chaos reigns, creativity will always win. Bureaucracy is a human's attempt to control something. It's always going to end in tears. <laughs> okay. So my creative medium of choice is painting. I, I love getting a one-dimensional surface and getting coloured goo and with this thing here creating a whole world that has depth and dimension and colour and light and story and um, I, I just like making stuff. <laughs> but at the moment painting is my thing. So what's my background? I don't have a background. I left school early um, I did a series of jobs that I hated and I don't like being told what to do and I like painting so that's my background I just spent most of the years building up to being a painter trying to find a way of being a painter so I don't really have a background, I don't have a trade, I don't have any skills. I'm pretty much unemployable. <laughs> yep. my, my method of work is, is pretty much find something I like that lights me up or that in, 
moves me in some ways or that aligns with something I'm trying to say at the time and then basically painting it but painting in a way that somehow accentuates something or exaggerates something or draws attention to something um, um, I want them to be pretty pictures but I don't want them to be just pretty pictures I want them else, something else but fundamentally I leap around like an idiot and chuck paint a canvas that's pretty much the way I work <clears throat> The collective is funded by us. We all basically share the rent. Uh, we, you know, have agreements on who pays what and when, and, and uh, we have exhibitions which pay some of the rent, contribute to the rent, and uh, it's really just a space, a way that we can put in our own money and contribute to paying some rent so that we can exhibit our work and of course hold workshops and, and paint and do demonstrations and stuff so the funding where we're, we fund ourselves and hopefully sell a painting along the way the majority of people who come into the gallery would be probably people on holidays i would suggest um, and then I would say the next biggest group would be locals who just want to stick their head in and see what's going on, see what's, you know, been put up recently, see if there's any new stuff, yeah. And then there's lots of friends of friends dropping in, so it's kind of a, kind of a hub in some ways, which is nice, yeah. So I, I work with a group of artists uh, as, as a collective, as part of a collective. Um, we call ourselves the LAC or the Lennox Arts Collective um, and it kind of came about uh, there was a gallery in town which shut down and there was no place for any local artists to exhibit their work and I sold quite a few pieces out of the gallery that was open and decided to take advantage of some of the empty shops around town and so we managed to convince people to let us use their shop <laughs> as a studio slash gallery and gradually it grew from there and currently there are seven artists working together, which is great. They're all exceptional human beings. I love working with them. They're, they're just great people. It's very easy to get on with everyone. No one has any real major personality flaws except possibly me. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really enjoy working with everyone here. And we have nice events and we're all very supportive. And yeah, I. Love Linux Arts Collective. <clears throat> the, other, the other artists maintain their own artists' practices. I'm, I'm really not sure how they do. I do know that I'm influenced by some of the other artists in here and I'm fairly sure it would work the other way. Um, but I really don't know. I think we're all fairly sure about what we want to do. Um, I don't think any influence is negative at all. I think everyone's very positive and constructive. So I, th I think, and, and encouraging. So I think that that's probably the way that everyone's arts practices are influenced. Just by encouragement. And we're all on a similar path. Um, the Lennox Arts Collective mission statement. It's one word. Survive. <laughs> um, my opinion, which I have to say is backed up by a lot of the people who come in here, is that the Lennox Arts Collective is a really really good thing for the community it's it's a, a great place where people can come and see art in a way that's not intimidating they can engage with someone making art they can discuss the creative process um, everyone seems to think that it's fantastic that we're here and they love that we're here and they love the space i think there needs to be something like a lack in, in most towns, I really do. I think it's good for the community. I'm 
trying to communicate with my art the fact that there is a different reality than the one that most of us live here in the West. We, we attach ourselves to things and we attach ourselves to uh, image and status and there's no real juice in that, there's no real joy. I, I honestly think that the real, real juice in life is in tiny little moments where you, you know, you look at the way the light sparkles in a wave or, you know, you, you look into the eye of your lover or, they're in those moments. They're not in TVs, they're not in luxury cars, they're not in those things. They're in pure, simple moments. And for me, that's what my paintings are about. They're, they're about a tiny little moment which will never exist again, which is precious and beautiful all on its own. And if you sit there and take the time, it can change your life. It's a big thing. Professionally, what is my goal? <laughs> Ultimately, my goal would be to produce a painting that is so beautiful that it makes people weep. <laughs> or maybe that it's so beautiful that they decide to become a little bit kinder to the planet than themselves and one another. Ultimately, that would be probably my ultimate goal. Professionally, I wake up in the morning and I paint. I kind of do that now. So, I don't think I have a goal. I think I'm where I want to be professionally. Hmm. The work I most enjoy doing is the stuff where I have relinquished any real idea of an outcome, where I just dance, I just play, I, I throw paint, I scratch around, I, I play, that's the best stuff. So why do I do art? Um, I do art because I'm unemployable. <laughs> I have oppositional defiance disorder. I don't know if that's true, but I think I do. And I have ADHD, you know, and I can't sit still. So I don't know if that's true either, but that's how it seems to me. Um, and if I stood on a soapbox in the middle of the street, and blathered, no one would take any notice. But if I make a really nice painting that makes people think a little bit, and someone hears me, I, I can't answer that. I don't know. I'm a child. I want to play with paint. Maybe that's all it is. So we market ourselves. We have a Facebook page. Uh, which people can subscribe to. We have a few brochures around the place. Um, but we hold exhibitions and we use the exhibitions to let other people's networks know that we're here. And you know, someone will mention that they had an exhibition and then someone else will have an exhibition. And so that contributes to our rent. Um, but it also contributes to the fact that that people know that the space is here. We try and have little events and things like that. We'll be looking at doing some, having some stuff with musicians and a few other things. So, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as marketing is concerned.